Hey guys, this is Tom Sidlo and welcome to the Gaming Corner. Today we're going to be reviewing Power Rangers Dino Thunder for the Nintendo GameCube. So let's not waste any time and dive straight into the review. Power Rangers Dino Thunder was released by developer Pacific Coast Power & Light and publisher THQ in August of 2004 for the Nick Game Boy Advance and in September of 2004 for the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo GameCube. For today's show, I'll be reviewing the GameCube version. In this game, you can play as the many different dinosaurs as you attempt to defeat the evil Zeltrax and his monsters. Throughout the game, you can collect different items such as the Dino Eggs, Dino Gems, and Power Morphers to unlock bonus Zord Power Games where you can play as Zords from the past two seasons before Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm, and Wild Force. Now, I personally consider myself a very big fan of Power Rangers, so I have high hopes when I play a Power Rangers game. I'd say we should begin by watching a little bit of the intro video just to get ourselves in the right mindset. Dr. O, we've come under attack! Kira and Ethan are gone! Zeltrax sent a new giant army to attack the Zords! Let me see if I can get in contact with them. Kira, Ethan! Do you read me? Dr. O. Hold on, you two. Okay, Connor. It's up to you to rescue them. On my way, Dr. O. I'll get them back. You can count on it. Okay. Hold on a second. What is this? No show actors. No theme song. No anything like the TV show. There's not even going to be Mezagog in this game, the main villain. Okay, if this is a budget title, I can sort of understand, but they're really pushing the limit here already. And I haven't even really started to play the game yet. You start the game as Connor, the red Dino Thunder Ranger, in his Tyrannosaur. Your first goals in the game are to power up the Tyrannosaur, learn the controls, and to get your friends back. When you do, you gain control over the Terrazor, which is piloted by Kira, the yellow Dino Thunder Ranger, and the Triceratosaur which is driven by Ethan, the blue Dino Thunder Ranger. Helping you out through the whole story is Dr. Thomas, or Tommy, Oliver, who's the black Dino Thunder Ranger. He will send out his black Brachiosaur to help through the escort missions in the game, which is the only part of the game that actually has any real difficulty, mostly due to the fact that the Brachiosaur is practically the slowest thing ever made. While the real Tommy Oliver from the show is one of, if not the greatest Power Rangers in the history of the show, the game's version is extremely annoying and seems to treat us like we're very, very small children. But I end up hating him more than the bad guys at the end of the story mode. I do know that this game is meant for kids, and I know it's a budget title, but that is not an excuse for a game to really be bad. There are a lot of good budget titles out there, folks. This one should have been trying to make it fun as much as possible to attract new viewers. I mean, you're playing as giant robotic dinosaurs. How is that not fun? The availability is important. The options should be there, just to be able to goof off and have fun with the game. It would add a little bit more positives to this game. The actual controls to the game are pretty average, and the gameplay mechanics themselves are nothing to really complain about. It's just a bunch of easy, tedious tasks, one after another. Even the power games, they're just a bunch of missions with different zones. This game just feels like there's something missing to it. There seems like there's a little extra that needs to be in this game to make it fun. Some little nice bonuses here and there. They make it look like they actually put some effort into this game. Because it looks like they didn't really put any effort into this. Even though I love Power Rangers, I can't feel comfortable giving this game anything higher than a 3 out of 10. This game is something that should not be touched by anyone. Unless you are the most extreme Power Rangers fan ever. Okay, while well, I may not have had the best time taping this review, I hope you had a good time watching it. And until next time, I'm Tom Sidlow, here at the Gaming Corner, saying keep on gaming.